Hey guys, thanks for uh, stopping my channel here. Uh, I'm just gonna do a, talk about a few different things, I guess, uh, in this video. Uh, first, I just wanna thank the uh, 114 subscribers I believe I have now, which is pretty awesome, <laughs> pretty cool. I never thought it would get past 100. I mean, as for all the videos that I have, like, wow, some people have say had that many videos. You think that they would have like you know like a million, not a million, but maybe a thousand subscribers? But I mean, I think it's because I'm getting maybe a little bit more notice because I cover so much music, I so like you know a lot of songs from different bands and whatnot, and I go from different genres. You know, like I said, literally from ABBA to ZZ Top, and people say in between. You know, like I I made my account in 2010, and uh, I only started uploading videos in January 2013. Before that I was just a YouTuber commenting on videos and watching amazing guitar players, bass players, drummers, whatnot, videos. Uh, like, I suppose when you're a musician, especially when it comes to YouTube, you kinda, you always wanna watch what's really good, you know. But, you don't, if you were a true musician, like, uh, you don't go around bashing other musicians. I mean, that that's one issue I want this to talk about, cause I mean, there's a lot of musicians who take and go and bash other people. Like, I'm a musician and I wouldn't want that happening to me. Like, I wouldn't want some idiot coming and bashing my playing and what I'm doing, which is what I get a lot of the time. I mean, for every 10, uh, for every one com yeah, for every one positive comment I get, I get 10 negative, because I suck, I, you know, I don't look my age or, uh, you know, just for the record, I'll be 32 in December. Believe me or not, I don't care. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I'll comment on videos, but I'll never go to somebody's video and, you suck, you suck. Get that from so many people, oh, you suck, you suck. And you check their video, their page out. No subscribers, no videos. And if they do have three or four videos, they might have 10 views. So it's like all the critics, right? Like I said before, those who can play, play. Those who can't play go on to be critics, and that is true, and it's very true in the YouTube community world. Uh, I mean, I've had, you know, I've met some really, really great people, like online here, like on YouTube, and, you know, just learned a lot, free lessons, you know, from certain people and whatnot, and, and that's what YouTube is about. It's about learning. It's, it's not about showing off. For me, it's not about showing off. I don't sit there and show off. I put videos of me just soloing randomly, so just, I don't know scales, I don't know any of that stuff, I just play it by feeling, you know, I, I'm like uh, Steve Clark, the late guitar player from Led Zeppelin, oh uh, Led Zeppelin, sorry, Def Leppard, uh, I don't know how the hell I said that, you know, he, he wasn't a, a perfectionist, he just played what felt right, and that's the way I feel, you know, I, I have that kind of attitude in my, my uh, playing, I'm not a perfectionist, I do, I do aim for a good sound, but as far as playing, I'm sloppy. I'll admit it. I mean, I hit bad notes all the time. Like, uh, but I mean, I found out like in the beginning when I was playing along to songs, um, I wasn't learning half as much as what, like I I I know now. I guess you could say. Now, I found that since I've been doing tutorials, teaching people songs and whatnot, uh, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot as a musician, as a person in life, I guess you could say. It get, it just, it opens you up to being more of an open person. And, uh, you know, like, a it makes you a better musician. You learn a lot, and you learn a lot from interacting with the people that you're teaching and whatnot. So, you know, I stopped doing songs playing along to songs started doing tutorials and I had the name you know typo negative VEVO uh, for a long time but now it's the best guitar and bass tutorials with an exclamation mark and uh, I mean come on now, obviously I'm not the best bass and guitar tutorials you know like that's like saying I'm the world's best guitar player uh, I'm not I just thought it was a clever name and I put it in and whatever it saved it so what it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean you know, the best tutorials and stuff. Uh, 
But yeah, like I've had people give me good com compliments and all that. And obviously, it was 114 people. Uh, just in the last month, I think I've gotten, I don't know, 16 subscribers, which is not a lot at all compared to what some people get. Some people get, you know, 15 a day. But what makes me happy is the 114 people that have subscribed to my channel are usually musicians and they thank me for the videos, the tutorials that I've done for the songs. I might not have done tutorials for Joe Satriani or Steve Vai or Yingli Amstein videos like or, you know I'm, I'm, I'm primarily a metal player, metal mu musician but I mean I listen to everything. Right now I'm listening, I don't know if you can hear I'm listening to Sarah Brightman. I love Sarah Brightman. You know, or I can listen to uh, Andrea Bocelli, like, just different types of music. Music You gotta be diverse, you can't, you can't limit yourself to one genre of music. You gotta open it up, and when you do open it up, you know, you discover that there's a whole other world out there of music that's just waiting to grab you. Like, I, I haven't been, I, I've been studying a lot with my classical guitar playing to be like a really good classical guitar player. Uh, then I got my Sigma guitar, which is from like 1975 or 76, and my wife bought me for Father's Day, which was impossible to find, but she found it, so it was amazing. But uh, I do primarily, you know, electric guitar covers. Uh, and my special guest vocalist and I do songs every now and then. Uh, so yeah, playing music and showing it to the YouTube community is fun. Whether somebody hates it or likes it, I don't give it a damn. I'm putting it out there, I'm putting myself out there to the world. So I guess by doing so, I have to take it all. And that's fine. If you think I suck, tell me. I don't give a damn. If you think I'm awesome, cool. That's awesome. But really, it, it, it comes down to how you feel as a player, I think. Uh, you know, if you're going to get told off all the time by... I mean, I had one guy for a while, he was telling me off about everything, man. He wanted to cut my head off, like... And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, what did I do to this guy so bad to deserve these type of comments? I don't know this guy. He doesn't know me. He doesn't know a damn thing about me. All he's looking at is the what's the video on the screen of me playing whatever I'm playing. And yet, he, you know, I says I cut myself and I should jump off a bridge and all this stuff and of course you report it to YouTube and of course they never do anything about it but I mean if it, in uh, real life if somebody was to tell you you know to you cut your go cut yourself and jump off a bridge and all this stuff you know something legally could happen but I mean obviously YouTube you know, whatever anyhow uh, <laughs> so yeah I've had my share of internet trolls I guess they call them you know people critics or whatnot but I've met some good friends you know like uh, I guess, uh, uh, well, acquaintances, you know, but I, there's one guy, I've, I advertise his site a lot, Mike Gross, amazing guitar player, good guy, uh, his wife was a big fan of mine, I guess back in the day, I'm, she probably still is, but you know, I haven't heard anything, or whatever, but uh, he, he does really, he's a really good uh, guitar instructor, and he gives lessons and stuff, and he has a website, and at the end of a lot of videos, I'll say check it out, you know, check out his website, and check out his channel, and stuff. And you know he corresponds with me. And, I mean, he actually uh, favored one of m one or two of my videos, and that just him by him doing that, he has over sixty thousand subscribers. Just by him doing that, he sent about four hundred people to just one video of mine, and it wasn't even one of my videos that it was a strong video for me. It was just an easy, easy song. But you know he took the time to do that for me, and I appreciate that. I mean, if there's somebody. W I know if, if I had, you know, like, thousands and thousands of subscribers and some guy was, you know, putting a lot of effort into what he was doing, I'm not bragging, but I obviously I've put a lot of time and effort into doing what I do, whereas if it's, somebody thinks my playing sucks or somebody thinks it's great, whatever, but if somebody took the time to help the little guy, that would be amazing. It would send thousands of people my way. And it would be just fantastic. I mean, there's one guy I asked recently. I said, you know, I've been checking out your website and learning stuff from you for quite a while. And I was like, man, if you could just like one of my videos, or just even favorite one, you would send, man, thousands and thousands of people my way. 
You know, he has over a million subscribers. I'm not going to say his name. But he has over a million subscribers. And he never wrote back to me. Of course not. Gonna, he's got a million subscribers. How the hell is he going to write back to me? <laughs> but anyways, uh, it's just the people with all that power. It's just like, you know, to help the little guy out. I'm struggling in the community. I'm trying to make a name for myself. Not making a dime. I don't have a website. I don't charge for lessons. I don't think I'm good enough to be giving lessons to begin with. Uh, I try to be as accurate as possible. You know, uh, I don't tell people to go here. I mean, monetizing videos, whatever. That's YouTube, Google, all that garbage. That don't matter to me. I don't care. I'm a musician. I'm here to teach music, tutorials, show people how to play certain stuff. If they're stuck on, you know, if somebody wants to type in how to play, uh, you know, uh, the first solo in. Uh, comfortably numb by Pink Floyd. Well, you know what? I know that solo, and I did a tutorial on it, and I think I played it pretty damn good. But then again, people there's gonna be people that comment and say you suck, and oh man, your sound is terrible, and all that. you know what? At, at the end of the day, that stuff don't, to me it doesn't matter to me because I just keep going. I'm not gonna let people stupid, ignorant, prop, you know, comments send me. You know, for a while, actually, in January of this year, 2014. I had stopped making videos. I said, you know what? Nobody's noticing my stuff. I'm, I'm way at the bottom. It'll take me forever to get anywhere. But then I realized that my love of music, my passion for sharing and teaching people music, just it reignited. And I just said, you know what? The hell with it. I stopped for a month or a month and a half. Then I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start doing tutorials again for you know whatever stuff and people have asked me requests and if I had the time to learn it say it I say it play it whatever and whatnot uh, I'll do the best I can uh, I mean uh, I'm a father I'm a stay-at-home dad uh, my son is a year and eight months old so when I get free time away from him I'm trying to spend it with my wife doing nice things and after that I'm you know I try to play music as much as I can, make tutorials and uh, le lessons and, you know, for people who are, you know, curious, oh, this guy has this solo, uh, so I'll check it out, it's cool, you know, that's, that's what I'm here for, so, I mean, yeah, I know I'm going on and going on, but uh, this video is just to thank the people, the 114 subscribers of the last week or so I've gotten in a subscriber, two subscribers a day. You know, I have what, over 800 videos. Uh, yeah, it was just, it's basically to thank the people that are putting faith in me and are, in a way are kind of like thanking me for me putting the effort I'm putting into, into you know, teaching, playing, and demonstrating this, that. And I'm learning too, you know, and I've made a few videos where you know, basic stuff or whatever. Back when I started playing guitar in 1995, there was nothing. No resources, there was nothing. I mean, that's why uh, I come from a different playing back. Playing you know, music when it comes to nowadays, people playing nowadays, YouTube. <laughs> All kinds of guitar sites, tabs and lessons, whatever. Back in the day, if you want something, you need to buy a magazine and go to some mail order thing and order videos and CDs and stuff so there was nothing back then but I mean I, I started playing in 1995 but I kind of put it away for two years and didn't really start again until about 1997 but uh, anyways so the bottom line is just I just want to thank the people who give me a chance and you know don't dog me all the time and put faith in me and you know subscribe to my channel and I'm getting more subscribers all the time and pretty cool you know you meet a lot of you know decent pe people guitar players you know you just really you know when after you, you're in that genre you know who's where and where and where and who's you talk to and who's whatnot and yeah so anyhow I just want to say thanks you know just keep it coming people I'll keep doing tutorials for whatever the hell I like all kinds of stuff I'll take requests send them my way it's cool if I can do it, I can do it. If I can, I can. I'll admit it. I'm not the best. I'm not the worst. So, anyhow, uh, so yeah, I can't make videos longer than 15 minutes until November. So, anyhow, thanks for watching and I appreciate it.
subscribers and the thanks, comments, everything. It's all good and I appreciate it all people. Thanks.